The following installation instructions apply to all Tamco insulated and non-insulated control dampers, which are to be mounted inside a duct or wall opening. Tamco's installed induct type dampers are manufactured one half inch smaller than the specified duct width and height dimensions. It is important that the installer verify that the damper is square and true before the damper is installed in the ductwork or wall opening. The ductwork construction and bracing must be sufficient to support the damper. Do not use the damper to square up the duct or to support the system. Ninety degree mounting angles should be secured to the duct or wall opening using sheet metal screws. Insert the damper in the opening so that the bottom of the frame sits flat on the floor of the duct in order to prevent twisting and sagging. Failing to do so could cause leakage between the bottom frame and the bottom blade. Ensure that the damper is installed so that the linkage remains accessible at all times. At this point you may fasten the damper to the 90 degree angles behind it or you may also use additional angles on the face side of the damper. Simply attach the angles to the ductwork with sheet metal screws, thereby firmly securing the damper between the front and rear angles. Make a hole in the ductwork if required to allow the extension of the drive rod. Loosen the nuts on the U-bolt and extend the drive rod to a maximum of 8 inches beyond the exterior of the frame. Once the drive rod is extended to the length required, retighten the U-bolt. Finally, caulk all joints in order to ensure a tight seal between the ductwork and the 90 degree angles.